series of hydrogen. The hydrogen atom belongs to those systems whose behavior can be completely analytically calculated quantum mechanically via the Schrödinger equation. The discrete energy levels lead to an emission spectrum. This was first described empirically by Barmer. Later, it could be explained by Bohr's atomic model. The experimental setup comprises the frame of the spectrometer with the angular scale, the telescope with the operating unit for the lightning, a slit tube with the attached second resolution slit, the mercury lamp with the operating unit, a Balmer lamp with the operating device, and a grating. In this experiment, deflection angles of different spectral lines are measured. Therefore, the spectral apparatus has an angular scale with a vernier. The coarse inner angular scale allows to read off the angle in degrees. The value on the finer scale, whose marking is best matched by a mark on the coarse scale, is added as the angular minute. In this experiment, the grating spectrometer is first adjusted with a mercury lamp. The first step is to adjust the spectral apparatus. Therefore, the slit and the telescope are aligned so that a sharp and centered image of the slit can be observed. The resolution slit at the other end of the slit tube should be fully open. The diffraction grating is then placed on the stage, which is adjusted with the leveling screws. Ensure the incoming light hits the grating perpendicularly. Adjust the swivel arm onto the yellow lines. This angle has to be noted down. Measure the remaining spectral lines of the mercury lamp relative to the yellow line with the fine drive. Note the deflection angles for the first order. Now replace the mercury lamp with the Balmer lamp. The Balmer lamp should be placed as close as possible to the center of the slit tube so that the full spectrum of the lamp can be observed. Measure all visible lines for the first order. Note the manufacturer's specification for the grating constant as comparison value. 